Jack, the season starts on Saturday. You've had a, pretty much a full pre-season with the side. How would you assess pre-season on a personal level? Yeah, I think it's been good. It's been tough. Um, really enjoyed it. Uh, being in amongst the boys, getting, like you said, a full pre-season, which can always help coming to a new club and um, just understanding the way that the manager wants to play. But really enjoyed it and uh, had a couple of chances, goals and assists and enjoyed it with the team and got a couple of wins, so that's important. And how does it compare to, to pre-seasons you've had at other clubs? Uh, it's been really tough. Uh, I think we had a couple triple session days that started at like 6 a.m. Uh, getting up at 20 to 5. I've never done that before in pre-season, but I think mentally it's been it's been good, challenging. But I think it stands us in good stead for the season because this, this league's going to be challenging and tough. And it, I don't think it's just about you know the fitness and the games. A lot of social aspects as well. You know, we mentioned the surfing down yeah. in Cornwall and a few different social events. How important have they been for you? Yeah, massive. Just to get in with the boys. Um, I knew a couple of boys before I came. It makes it easier, but I think the, the team's been really welcoming. And like you said, social events like the golf and the stuff, and um, for the team barbecue and stuff like that. So uh, you can really see the team starting to gel and come together. I think we've seen that as well in the adaptability of your game. We've played in a couple of roles this uh, in the pre-season game. Yeah, I think that's, that's a good thing that I can show that I can play in a couple of roles, and the manager trusts me in doing that, which is quite good. But yeah, it's just I need to keep working hard this season. Um, hopefully, the team does well. Had your first experience of, of playing at SJP as an Exeter City player against Coventry. How did you find that? Yeah, except for chasing them about, it was, it was really good. Uh, I thought they were they were a top side, um, but I feel like a game like that a week before the season starts is really good to come up against that opposition and the, the kind, kind of players. But I thought the fans were amazing, and I've heard it can get even better than that. And, um, fuller than that, so I'm really excited about that as well. Yeah, I mean, that was just a friendly, so obviously yeah. when the league games start, it'll be even better. I think you end up with man of the matches, haven't you? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not actually sure how I got that, to be honest. Um, I was a, a little bit surprised. I felt I could have done a little bit better, and there was a couple of boys in the team that, that done really well, but now I'll take it a week before the season and it gives me that little boost of confidence. What is it that you, you like about the first day of the season? <sighs> Hopefully, three points, <laughs> um, but I, I know. Working my way, it's going to be a really tough game. But I think it's just the the atmosphere and just the excitement of the first game. Um, it's been a couple of months now, and just just all the boys are ready to get going and finally get the season started. Actually, August is a, is a pretty full on month. You know, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday for the first couple of weeks. Is, is that what you want going into a season? You just want to get into as many games as possible. Yeah, especially if you if you get the, the first one um, early on, but like you said, even if we don't, you get, you get so many games to then go and correct it. I think it can be a good thing and also I think there's a couple of games close to Scotland which can be good, so we get a little chip home, but um, now nah, I'm really looking forward to it and a tough schedule, like you said, at the start of the month, so yeah. So the, the uh, away end at Carlisle in a couple of weeks, will that be full of Aitchison's? Yeah, I don't think the team will have any tickets because <laughs> I think my, fa my family and friends will take them all, but now nah, it'll, it'll be good to like get a little trip home but at the same time I've loved it since I've came here um, and I've just settled in really well and that's just to the team and the manager. Starting away from home and I think this summer given we've only played one home game and, and played plenty of friendlies on the road starting away from home it'll, it'll probably almost be what you're used to since you've joined us. Yeah it actually felt a little bit weird playing on Saturday at Stevens Park but that's the first time I've played there uh, as an Exeter City player but like you said, all the friendlies and stuff like that have been away from home, so it's, like you said, it's nothing we're used to. And, um, yeah, we're just excited to get going. Wickham are a notoriously difficult team to play against. Are you expecting anything different, given that their managers had a, a full pre-season with them for the first time? Yeah, I think they can kind of mix it up, go long. I think they've got players in there that can play as well. I think they've made a couple of good signings, but I know Wickham is a kind of physical team, um, powerful team. And I'm, like I said, uh, I don't think it'll be an easy game, but at least if we do the things that the manager wants us to do and we do the basics well, then we got ourselves a good chance. As a team, you'll no doubt have, have set goals for yourselves for the season, but on a personal level, what are, you, what are your personal goals for the season? Yeah, just to play as much, much as I can, let, let the manager trust me and know that I can do things, like you said, in different roles. Uh, I want to add goals and assists, but the most important thing for me is reaching the top level, um, the table with the team getting three points.